hello everyone and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? We doing psych we doing um drama tea and psychology right now. Drama tea and psychology. Drama tea and psychology. So what's happening in these YouTube streets? In these YouTube streets. Let me give me my little commentary. Let's start with the sector. Some of you call it the tea sector. Some of you call it beloved sector. Some of you call it the small sector. Let's just catch up with what's going on. So the main thing I think that's going on in these in, in this little sector. First of all, I want to say to Adrian, Adrian Slay's variety, is having some medical issues. Now she you know Adrian is the queen. The queen of starting shit. Now, damn it, Adrian, you know I don't gave you that award. You accepted it. But right now, we need you to get better. We need you to rest. We need you to get that blood pressure under control. So many of us, in, and I say us, in this sector are black women. And many of us have blood pressure issues. Now, my blood pressure is, is in control. Um with medication now I take my medication I started having blood pressure issues in my 30s and this you know it's a combination of genetics um, lack of exercise and bad food choices period okay and medication helps to control it the issue and the problem with medication over time is that our medications, now I'm no nurse, so don't come after me, but this is what I was told. That medications are processed in the kidneys and the liver. And over time, it's not the best for us to even be on medications, period. Which is why some people, to control their blood pressure, and it works for them, is, you know, they drink a glass of wine, they um they eat a car um garlic they drink um <clears throat> what is that rice wine vinegar vinegar you know they speaking of vinegar i need some they um they do all you know some some remedies that we use and people have used when they don't have um access to medication so and and stress Stress is the number one cause of um, high blood pressure issues. And we all know high blood, sh high blood pressure can lead to strokes and heart attack. Heart attacks are the number one cause of death for black women, according to the health network. So there's nothing to joke about. And so... Adrian, we're going to be watching you. I don't want to see you with no no more of that gas station fried chicken. I, you said you was going to all these to get your fruits and vegetables. Get your fruits and vegetables. Adrian, damn it, we can all do it together. We can all do it together to get our blood pressures in this sector under control. Because you're not alone. I read your comments and many of your cut-ups is it got, got um, high blood pressure. So we get it. But we also, you know, are worried about you, girl. We worried about you. We worried about we we need you. We need you over here, girl, for your entertainment purposes. So yes, keep praying for Adrian. Also, someone else, another um content creator in this sector, Virginia Withers. Virginia, I hope you by the time I upload this, you got a thousand subscribers. But I was a little disturbed today because Virginia was, um, she's out of surgery and recovering. And she was in um, uh, Letitia's live and mentioned that someone, I think, commented 
that they hoped she died during her surgery. You know, to the person that said that to her, really, you that came to your mind and you actually type that. You type that. You know, if you know anything about Virginia, you know Virginia has children, grandchildren, other people's children that she's raised and taken care of in a loving way. People that love her and and you going to say that to her? You know, something that would hurt her baby, something that would hurt her her family. Like how dare whoever said that to her? I'm not going to wish nothing on you because karma's going to get you or whatever the universe, spirituality, whatever. But you, you, you are a nasty, mean son of a bitch. Ugh. And oh, in celebrity news, well, y'all know the baby. Y'all know the baby, the rapper, the baby. The baby is. It's a whole bunch of big channels talking about his situation with um, another artist. I think her name is Delaney. Delaney. Anyway, the baby has always had about three girlfriends at a time. He got his main one. Her name is Mimi. Now, Mimi know her place. Mimi, you know, the baby go out. He be in a whole entanglement with somebody else. Mimi minds her business, raises her kids. She's, you know, her kids are very polite sweet kids, nice, respectable kids. She don't, you know, she she knows the situation. She's like a lot of women who are, you, you in love with these men, you know, maybe early, you know, very early in the career before he even had a career. You know, Mimi was loving on him and taking care of him and, and he was probably doing the same for her. And, um, you know, then he got fame and fortune, and of course, all these these chicks came around and and wanted, you know, and of uh, you know, and he took advantage of that. So, um, this girl uh, Delaney or Delene, I don't know her name. Anyway, anywho, she's from Dominican Republic, and I wanted to make a comment on some of the things that she allegedly has said um, regarding. Regarding her relationship with um, the baby, um, so the baby's um, girlfriend Mimi is probably my complexion, and uh, Delaney is fair complected, mixed looking, you know, Dominican. And so she's made comments allegedly, like, 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 of course, you know, the baby wants to be with me. I mean, I'm light skin. I mean, <laughs> look at me. And it, it just, it just, it, it is another, it's, it's sad. It really, it really, it really is sad that somewhere in, in her growing up and somewhere in society and in what she believed that she had, you know, like, she was the, the perfect one for him <clears throat> based on her light skin status. Now, I didn't want to bring this up, but I had heard um, another content creator make a comment that, um, and it, it rustled my soul. It rustled my soul. Had said um, that, you know, a waste of a light skin, like a waste of a light skin. What does that mean? That that comment says that you're you're light skin, so you're better. And if you're light, you're better. And, and that just it does not and has never served our community. It has never served our community as a whole, as black people, to have people who are of light skin believing they are superior to people who are darker skin. That, that shit is so cold, so, <clears throat> so embedded 
in racism, colorism, bias. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. And because Delaney in, in her in her growing up and, and whatever she's heard, she believed that the baby would have treated her better than he did Mimi because of her light skin status. I can line up a thousand light skinned women and tell you how each and every one of them have been dogged right alongside a dark skinned woman. I can show you how they've been loved right alongside a dark skinned woman. We gotta stop that. Not 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 me, because I know better, been raised better, been taught better, have evolved better to, to ever even believe that dumb shit. But Delaney, you believed that because of your skin tone, that somehow the baby wasn't going to be a dog to you. He wasn't going to be um, allegedly abusive to you mentally and physically because of your light skin status. And he showed you what it was. They just had this whole conversation on the Real Housewives of Potomac. They got two dark-skinned castmates and the rest are light-skinned. Giselle has been dragged. She Now, y'all know Janelle thinks Janelle. Is it Janelle? I don't know. The one that's married to the pastor who's dark-skinned, she's light-skinned with light eyes. He dogged that woman from, 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 from I'm, I'm sitting out in front of Flaming Crab and Subway. He dragged her from Flaming Crab to Subway and back again and back again again. So your light skin status does not negate how somebody's going to treat you. And being a waste of light skin, which I, I, I. It's the most ignorant shit I think I've ever heard. Ignorant. Oh, Lord have mercy. But anywho, that is that on that is that. That is my drama, my tea in psychology, Virginia. Adrian, get better, recover. The person who said that to Virginia, get help. Get help. Get help. The baby, you will continue to do what you're doing because that's just what you're going to do. And the women who are in your life are either going to accept it and and, and, and that's it or, or not. You know, but as they grow and evolve and mature and watch their children and not want to hurt their kids or show their girl children how not to be treated, they will eventually just leave you alone. But... Where they leave you alone, there'll be other ones to pick you right back up. My ice is still icy, child, from last night. I need a sip. <laughs> Big mistake. Anywho, I'm out and about. I have a ski trip coming up. I need to find ski pants. Because I'm too cheap to go to um, Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm not giving you $70 for no ski pants. And I go skiing. This is probably going to be very close to my last ski trip. So. But I do need to go find some ski pants. So I need to do that. Uh, I think I got boots. I got Timberland boots. So they, they good enough for skiing. I got some snow boots too. <laughs> I got two snow coats. I just need the pants. I like go through stuff. Like I decided when my kids got big, I got rid of all of our ski tubing equipment, all that. I just, I'm like, I don't need this no more. But I didn't realize, you know, I got little nieces and nephews and we want to introduce them to skiing and, and um, snow tubing and all that. So that's what we're doing. Renting a house up in the Poconos, the Pocono Mountains, and going skiing. So... You know, I got to I got to play the part, honey. I need to get my ski attire together. I got to be cute. So I'll probably bring y'all skiing with us when we when I go, and do some footage from the ski um the ski resort and stuff like that. All right, and bye.